Hello and welcome to another fictional bus routes with me, Russ. Now this week we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to go, let's just quickly create a new one. This one I'm not going to keep, well, I might keep it, I'll just leave it test. Just so we can use this one in future for any little tests we want to do. When this up, when it opens up. Right. This week we're going to look at images. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's have another have look. Hopefully, anyway. Right, on the font selection, if we scroll down, scroll, 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 oh, too far. The logo is 16. And that, I believe, on this one, we can go to logo 19. Full height. So, pick a letter, any letter, with the letter T. Brings up a bicycle. We do it with a letter, I don't know, S, it's of a heart, and that brings up the Hanover logo. You can edit these any way you like, just by right clicking in here, as long as you've got this Super X left blank. If you tick that, you can't do anything in the box. Untick that, you can do anything. This one is freeform. This one really makes lines, so it's a bit easier. You can just do horizontal, vertical, or even diagonal. Right there, get me the right from my <laughs> Left click to place, right click to delete. And you just click and drag to make the lines. This one, you left click. And drag and highlight. You can use left, right, up and down arrows to move it. We'll just click and drag. Let's put it there. And if I can get it in the right place. And if we highlight that, we can also copy, paste, put it there. Paste again. That's so. Uh, now these are all stored. I'm not going to save that this week. Let's close it down. Close it down. Thank you. Go into your options menu. You've got fonts. This is where all your fonts and images are stored. Up here are all your fonts. I've already created one test. I'm not very good at this, but I'll show you. If you want to create your new, your own, uh, where was it? File, new font. You name the font, whatever you want to call it. And then set up the height. That's how many dots up and, or, and your width, which is how many dots across. It's spacing and your internal character spacing. That's completely up to you on how you do that. Or if you go into the say logo, let's go logo 24, which is that like that. Before anyone asks, I have no idea on the size of that one. But what you do is same as what to show before, left click and you can place uh, this this is all free form on this one. So you can place anything you like. Left click to place, right click to delete. Give it that one. This is a lot of these are still blank. However, go to the capital letters. You got the train. It's you. You got somebody on a bicycle. Not all of them. We've got stuff on. See X. The w is the last one with anything in. Now, like I say, you can 
join that up if you wanted to. You can change anything you like. He's going swimming. Let's see what else we got. We've got Poppy, we need. It's pointing at the wrong. Uh, I'm not going to get into that argument. We've got a train. We can even add smoke to that if you wanted. Horse. Football. But, uh, no, we don't want to save changes. Logo 19, we'll go to E. It's the same one. Well, because we've just been on that one you silly idiot 16 and then normal logo is they're slightly different and you've got less of them but you can create your own save it save and test nope Let's click on the small T. Font has changed. Do you want to save? Yes, we'll save that quickly. I preview the test one. I can't remember which one I've just done on now. Oh, yes, I do. Excuse me. Right, so if we scroll down, my test one should be down at the bottom. And it will always appear in this list. Small t. Not very artistic, I know, but just to prove a point, it does work. Super exit. It does look better like that, I will admit. We've only created a couple, hang on. Yeah, this is where I, I got this wrong, right? Fix it first, then Super X. That's what I was meant to do. Same as number one. Fix it. You had. If you put up your own font, you have to press the fix button for it to show up on the screen. And that's it for me this week. Be back same time next week. Remember, the links in the description below the video, the Facebook group, and for the Google Forms where you can submit your own idea for either a defunct old bus route that no longer exists or a completely fictional bus route from anywhere in the world. I'll see you next week and stay safe.